right, so this is an Aspen Ambassador uh, pop-up tent trailer, camper trailer. Um, we'll set it up and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Basically though, uh, it's about 300 pounds empty. Uh, I've added a nice little Coleman cooler to the front of it. It's got a built-in rack for that. Okay, so it uh, quickly opens up to one side. If I lift up the front floor panel, I've got a spare tire, I've got a bottle jack, and underneath there I've got a lug wrench, and uh, I've got some little trailer blocks and just a couple of things in the front in case I need to change a tire along the way. Now, in the back, under this floor panel, you can put basically everything else you're gonna need for, uh, for camping. So I've got a couple of nice little folding camp chairs. Sorry about the shadow, it's just a real bright sunny day today. And a few things. Now, this isn't my camping kit, don't get me wrong. It's just a few things that I've left in the trailer uh, for storage, but uh, as you can see, not only is there ample storage underneath the floor, but on top of the floor, I could put, you know, I put my sleeping bags and everything else I need. This trailer is about uh, 300 pounds empty. I ended up going with a Rivco hitch for my Goldwing. It has a 600 pound towing capacity, which gives me about a 60 pound uh, tongue weight. There's no way I'm gonna put 300 pounds worth of gear in there. I don't own that much motorcycle camping gear. Okay. But anyway, you could, you could, you could put another 150 pounds in there and I could tow that with the wing. Anyway, uh, I'm not saying you should max out, but I'm just saying that, uh, with this nice little trailer, uh, gear is not an issue. If you want to bring that, uh, that thing that you might just need and you might not need to bring it. No problem. going to put the little uh, jacks uh, trailer uh, leveling stands down it has them but we're just doing this for a little demo so I'm just gonna leave these in place okay let's start to raise it up now keep in mind this is easier to do with two people So that was step two. Uh, I raised it up. There's little uh, notches in those poles, so you can go up. Kind of got to go up one end at a time. With two people, you put the whole thing up at the same time, and it's really easy. With one, I had to just work a little bit, but it's not a big deal. You can still do it. Okay, now we're going to fold it out. Have a look. Side, and there's some little snaps that you'd fasten uh, onto the to the beds, to the bottoms, to the bases, I guess you call it. And then uh, there's Velcro all around the outside, also just to stop the mosquitoes and stuff from getting in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so we're standing at the back of the trailer. 
It has a full size zip up door and it actually opens right up. It's got a screen on it so you can uh, let the breeze run in and out. The whole, this whole end of the trailer also opens up to a screen. So do both uh, windows behind me on this side of the door. This side of the door and this side of the door, they both open right up. So you get lots of ventilation through here. Um, right in front of me, you can see there's a small hatch and that can be a dual purpose hatch. Number one, uh, you could mount an air conditioner on there outside. It would sit right on top of the cooler if you wanted to, or you could put a little bracket there and have air conditioning in the trailer. Now, we're in Canada. It's not a real necessity, but uh, you know, we're traveling down to the States. Maybe that's something we can consider. But this is what drew me to the Aspen Ambassador right here. You can sleep one or two people on this side and you can sleep one or two people on this side. If I pan up to the ceiling, the mattresses are right here. I can't really get in to show you how thick they are, but they're uh, about a two inch. They're each about a two inch mattress. They're easy to take uh, on and off and they just mount up to the ceiling when you're packing up the trailer. So. Um, if I'm traveling uh, with my wife, then this isn't so important. But if I'm traveling with a buddy or with my brother, this way, you don't have to spoon. <laughs> okay, so you got one guy over here and one guy over here and you can throw your gear. You have access to any gear that's under the floor just by pulling up a floor panel, uh, one or the other, and while you're inside. That to me is what sets the Aspen Ambassador apart and makes it the best trailer for my purpose anyway. Okay. Some of them, uh, I believe maybe the Leisure Light uh, in particular is really quick and easy to set up. It's just one fold, choom, right over the top, boom, you're done. Okay, sets up in like 30 seconds. Some of them give you a nice uh, screen room outside if you're both sleeping on the one side of the tent, then this side of the tent becomes a full screen room. I've seen a few of those out of the market. Um, some of them you can also use that screen room to house your motorbike at night. So there's other advantages out there. Depends on if you're a solo camper, if you are just going out as a couple all the time, but a couple of friends or, you know, that's that sort of thing, or a couple of brothers, this one takes the cake. Well, thanks for joining me again today. It's gonna to be a, a great season three. I'm looking forward to many cool rides with the addition of the Goldwing and now with the addition of the Aspen Ambassador camper trailer. We're gonna hit the road and we're gonna take some longer tours. Not that we're gonna go any longer than what I did on the uh, V-Strom to the Yukon and back, but maybe we'll take more of those kind of rides. So. Uh, stay tuned for October when we hit, hit uh, the highway, my brother and I, and we head down to Key West and back. And in a couple of weeks, I'm going to take a little tour around Georgian Bay, which is a large bay on the north side of Lake Huron. So for that ride, we're going to take, uh, we're going to head from here, right by Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, over to Manitoulin Island. We're going to go across the island. We're going to hit the ferry boat. So we get on the Chichimon Ferry which takes us across Georgian Bay down to the Bruce Peninsula. And then we're gonna ride down the peninsula around, uh, you know, through uh, the western part of southern Ontario up to Barrie and, and back around uh, Sudbury Highway 17 back home. So that'll be a great loop, be a great tour, and I look forward to having you with me on that one too. All right, as always, keep your stick on the ice, keep the rubber side down, and you will have a great day. Bye for now.